TC Live. Christian tweeted uh, about a week ago, what your tennis racket says about you and your game. Check this out. About you or your game. You either hit the crap out of the ball or you're a basic girl who bought this racket because you like the color blue. Your technique's pretty good and you got a solid game. You hit with a lot of spin and have the hands of God to go along with it. You first picked up this stick because you thought it was pretty, but then you realize it's actually a solid racket. You're either Dominic team or you hit the ball flatter than a pancake. You're unbeatable if you make contact with the sweet spot, otherwise you're pretty trash. You have unreal feel, but you're kind of boring to watch. Your ground strokes are massive, but you only come up to the net for the coin toss and the handshake. <laughs> I love all of that. And Christiane joins us for her weekly appearance on TC Live. Christy, if I'm not mistaken, you use the Babylon Pure Strike, correct? Yes, that's correct. And, and just c confirm, you're not Dominic Team. No, therefore, I do hit the ball flatter than a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, were any of your rackets part of, of Christy's demo there? No, I don't okay. think they were, but I was so impressed. I mean, you did a phenomenal job. For anybody out there not knowing what racket to use, you really nailed it. Helped them out a lot. <laughs> you're basic, yeah. you're trash. <laughs> I had a lot of uh, players reach out to me and say, wow, this is really accurate. So I think I'm pretty happy with the results there. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Christy, obviously we had the news yesterday about Wimbledon being canceled for 2020. Uh, what was your reaction when you found out? Yeah, obviously I was devastated. Um, I got to play my first Wimbledon main draw last year, so I was very excited to come back. Um, but overall, the feeling on tour is sadness it's you know it's not only a slam but it's also Wimbledon it's it's the you know big tournament that everyone wants to play and I know fans players everyone involved is quite moved quite sad about it and Christy you're part of the WTA Players Council and I was wondering what your responsibilities are during this downtime have any players called and talked about being concerned that they won't be making a living for what four or five months possibly. Yeah, we've had a lot of players reach out. Um, I'm in charge of the 100 plus ranking group. So I cover a lot of players and they've come to me with concerns. And obviously we've been trying to tackle as many as possible um, going from something like ranking points how that will work to the more pressing issue of how players are going to survive through this time. And luckily, the I know that the WTA, ATP, ITF, everyone's trying to put their heads together and come up with a solution that will benefit, hopefully, as many players as possible. And Christy, as of now, there's no play until July 13th. So that's about three and a half months. So I've seen some of your social media where you're cleaning the house with the towels, doing some training. But on a serious note, what kind of training are you doing? Are you hitting any tennis balls at all? Um, I'm currently not hitting tennis balls. The local parks and even walls are closed for social distancing purposes. Um, but luckily, I have a bit of a home gym set up, so I'm able to get my workouts. My trainer, she sends me workouts, so I'm able to stay active during this time. Christy, when it comes to the group of players that you represent, uh, financial security, I'm sure, is a big issue for them. Uh, you mentioned the WTA, the ATP, the ITF talking about solutions. What are some of those potential solutions? Yeah, so obviously during this time, it's uh, that if you're ranked lower than 100, you don't you, you, the security is not quite there. And I'm not, and I'm not saying that top hundred players don't have security or they do have security, but overall the, the feeling of unsteadiness in the hundred plus is growing. So we are definitely looking to help those players as much as we can and understanding that they are the ones who maybe that paycheck from week to week, whatever will make a difference in paying rent or getting food, um, Right now, we just have to, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we can put together a more concrete plan, but ideas are being thrown out there and just trying to see whatever, which way is the best way forward. Well, uh, folks like yourself who make funny TikToks, uh, I mean, your, your social media presence has grown, I think, by the day. Um, where are you coming up with these things? Are, are you writing them down at night, then doing them? Are you just doing them uh, haphazardly? <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time just scrolling and just, you know, getting some inspiration from other people. Um, the video that you saw about the rackets, it's a bit of a trend on TikTok where people re will review shoes. Um, this girl did one on wedding dresses. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do one on tennis rackets, what they say about the tennis player. Um, but yeah, overall, I just... I listen to some audio and I think, how can I relate that to tennis court? And I think they've turned out kind of funny. Yeah, but you do have to have the personality to make it work, Christy. And you certainly have that and the creativity and the smarts, I think, coming from Stanford that uh, we, we know you have that part uh, nailed down. But what do you miss most about tennis? I mean, is it the camaraderie of the tour? Is it traveling? Is it training? Is it the competitive nature of the matches? Yeah, a little bit of everything. For me personally, I, I definitely miss um, hanging out with my friends the most. I think the travel can get a little bit tough, especially because we have such a long schedule. But having those friends on the road, being able to just get dinner together, hang out, it definitely makes it the sport really special. And I think, you know, over the past decade, we've seen a growing number of WTA friendships and changing the narrative of maybe what it used to be. Christy, it also seems like a lot of the players like what you're putting out there on, on Twitter and Instagram. The, the TikTok you did about Bianca Andreescu was hilarious, and she, she really appreciated that as well. What, what other players are putting out content? We saw Roger Federer today doing some trick shots that you're paying attention to. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I know Stan has been um, putting out really funny content. It was his birthday the other day. So he was, you know, doing the multiple stands, having dinner by himself. That was pretty funny. And then on the WTA side, obviously, you know, Vika's, Vika and Svitolina, they're, they're putting out dances. Gavrilova is obviously being her funny, creative self. So it's just great to see a lot of players getting involved. Before we let you go, Christy, do your parents know that you have a job with Tennis Channel yet? <laughs> no, they don't, and they won't. <laughs> Come on. We, we need to get the ons on TC Live. <laughs> uh, maybe one day, but today's definitely not that day. <laughs> All right, Christy, thanks once again for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for entertaining us, Christy. We love it. We'll be right back with more TC Live.